Here today to talk to you about dilution ratios. All the time we get a guy that comes in, buys you a know, gallon of concentrate, so a lot of concentrates over here at Cougar Chemical, and we want to put it in here. And on the little label it says, you know, we're doing mixing one to one, maybe it's four to one, maybe it's 30 to one. So just kind of wanted to clear it up, show you a good little technique for doing it, uh, and kind of got that printed out here. What are some of the most common dilution ratios? And they could be anything that you want to be. I mean, they're, they're just run the gamut. You may take the same chemical and mix it three or four different ways. One for maybe, if you were talking about a degreaser, you might be doing one four to one for engine degreasing. You might be doing ten to one for just you know interior stuff, you know on the you know car panels or stuff like that. They go thirty to one just for uh, regular use on carpet or delicate surfaces or something like that. But just some of the more common ones. We've got a one to one, a four to one, and a ten to one. You know, you calculate that, it's pretty simple. If we're going one part of chemical to one part of water, we have a total of two parts we have to deal with. So we're going to take our 32 ounce bottle, which is standard. I mean, most people are going to put it into, you know, good old Cougar bottle here that's 32 ounces. We're going to take our 32 divided by the two parts being 16 ounces. So simple enough, one to one, we're going to fill this up to the 16 ounce mark with our chemical and fill the rest of it up to the top with water. Next one is a four to one ratio. It means we've got one part chemical to four parts water, making a total of five parts total. So I'm going to take my 32 ounce bottle, I'm going to divide it by five. That's going to give me 6.4 ounces. So I've got a couple of little things here. I've got one of them here that's uh, uh, graduated in ounces, a really small one, and a 16 ounce measuring cup. Have one of these laying around the shop. Makes life a lot easier to fill these things up. Okay. And I've got a couple of measuring cups over here. This one's really small, handy thing to have in the shop, especially when you're running those smaller dilution ratios like a 10 to 1 or a 30 to 1 where you got to measure out, you know, half an ounce or an ounce. You can see this one's graduated out. We've got 0.5 ounces on up to 2.5 ounces. Uh, pick it up for a buck at the dollar store anywhere you want to go. The other one that you guys want to have is a 16 ounce one. Just kind of measured out, just like EA, going on, on up to uh, up to this one actually goes up to 20 ounces. So anything between two and four ounces, especially nice on these. You don't you know, you got the the notch on there, so you don't necessarily have to have a funnel to fill up your quart bottles. Once you got your chemical all mixed up and poured into your quart bottles, take the time to go ahead and label your quart bottle. Uh, you want to make sure that you know what the chemical is in there and put your dilution ratio on there. You don't want to ever want to have mystery bottles uh, laying around the shop, around the house, and make sure that you got the right chemical for the right job. And then all you do is just pour it up.